Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I want to talk about the Queen's Wrath limited time event available in Destiny right now. You're going to be able to play this event or achieve goals in this event until October 6th. Now first things first, when you go to the tower for the first time, you'll notice that behind the bounty hunter, the big doors are open and you go in there and there's this beautiful courtyard and you see the queen ship in the back. If you explore around a little, you'll find a ghost on one of the railings that you can wake up here and then you can also speak to the queen's emissary who essentially functions as a vendor in the back here and she has limited time gear that you can buy. You'll notice that all this gear is actually grayed out from the start, that's because you need to earn queen's rank in order to be able to purchase it. But some of it is actually pretty cool, like this blue assault rifle here you can purchase with glimmer. You don't need marks or any other form of currency. But like I said before, you are going to need a queen's rank to be able to purchase these items the way you get queen's rank is you go to the bounty tracker and he has a whole new row of reef bounties that you can pick from and these missions vary from pvp to pve and if you want to gain queen reputation as best as possible you're definitely going to want to partake in both the pvp and the pve versions of the mission they're not too hard but they might take a little while especially some of the headshot pvp missions and like normal bounties i believe these will refresh each day Day, so you'll have a whole new set of missions tomorrow. Now having a good variety of bounties is a nice little addition to the game even if it is only temporary but there's an added layer to what's going on here. When you turn in bounties you're basically going to get little mission cards in your inventory. These are going to allow you to run special queen's missions once you get back into orbit. There's going to be a new button for you to click on the left side of the screen. These missions are level 24 requirement but don't take them lightly. They are actually quite challenging. They have the epic modifier on there which means that enemy are basically going to be plentiful, they're going to be very aggressive, and there's going to be a lot of weird shields that you perhaps were not expecting. So be prepared to switch up your weapons to the right kind of damage type. If you're a confident player, you might be able to solo the missions. I certainly soloed a few of them, but it's going to be a lot easier if you have a few friends with you. Also, I wasn't aware of this while running some of the missions, but if you bail out of the mission and start over, you can actually play a different one. So if you get stuck on something that's a little too hard for you, you can start over. Now a lot of you guys might be looking at these missions and say, hey, these are the basic storyline missions that you're playing here with just some epic modifiers on there. Why would you really want to do that over, say, just playing the strike playlist? You get to play the story missions, you get some vanguard reputation and marks. Well, the Queen's missions, once you complete them and you do have to beat them, you will get a piece of legendary armor. You also have the chance of getting a legendary spaceship. I don't know if anything else has dropped yet. I've been kind of checking Reddit and seeing what else people have gotten from this. But basically, you should be able to get a full set of legendary armor. Maybe even in the first day of doing the missions, you can do five missions per day. And since this is gonna be going till the sixth, you can attain a ton of legendary armor is absolutely great if you don't yet have legendary armor and if you already have legendary armor well you can definitely customize your set get the pieces that you really want and then dismantle a lot of it for shards which is really really useful for upgrading your armor so if you're level 24 or around level 24 and you got some friends that can run these missions with you, then definitely go do it now, especially if you don't have your legendary gear. And even if you do have your legendary gear, do it now because we all know how hard it is to attain lots of shards. And this is going to be one of the most effective ways to do it, at least until the 6th. So get out there, go do those Queen's bounties and the Queen's missions. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap. Signing off.